news is coming hard. Um, not much in the financial news, except for like, you know, commercial mortgages are complete garbage and everyone should try to get away from them. Also, uh, banks and brokerages like Schwab have been taking their crap bonds that aren't worth anything. If they were trying to sell them, they couldn't get any money for them. And then pretending like they're long-term holdings to assume that they're actual value, uh, which uh, does not work if you need to sell them to get cash for your customers. Then you don't have the cash for your customers. <clears throat> On top of that, I don't know, man. The, the weirdos just can't hang. Julianne, is the bank crisis over or has the Fed just managed to hold it together with duct tape and bailing wire? Five bucks for the double intro. Double intro. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I th think they hope they fixed it, but when they look at the books, they know they didn't. Commercial real estate is a bomb waiting to go off. Uh, it's huge, and none of those mortgages are going to get paid. There's tons of corporate bonds that aren't going to get paid. There's tons of international bonds that aren't going to get paid. There's tons of real estate bonds that aren't going to get paid. And right now, all the banks aren't writing them off. They're scared to write them off because if they write them off, then they don't have their customers' money anymore. And they can't admit that because then you'll get SVB, then you'll get a uh, 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 signature bank, First Republic. When people realize their money's gone, they're going to freak out. And so right now there's just everyone's clapping, hoping that, that, that the little Tinkerbell flies. And when people stop clapping, Tinkerbell is going to drop dead and that'll be it. <clears throat> <clears throat> I always kind of wanted to be at a Peter Pan show where like no one clapped for Tinkerbell. Just see what, see if there's like an alternative script for if Tinkerbell just dies. <laughs> Come on, everybody clap for Tinkerbell. She, she'll die unless you clap for her and just dead silence from the audience. <laughs> the spotlight's trying to lift Tinkerbell and just sits there. <clears throat> Jethro, how long is this bull market going to last? I mean, there is no reason. There's zero. Like, you look for reasons why there should be a bull market right now. You will find zero reasons. Find the good news. Where, Where is the good news in, in the current market conditions? Is there any good news? We've got layoffs happening like crazy. We have home prices falling, which means property, property uh, taxes are going to fall, which means state coffers are going to get lower which means, you know, the tax base for every jurisdiction is going to be smaller. Uh, bonds can't get paid. Mortgages can't be paid. Rent can't be paid. Uh, inflation's still crazy. Uh, war, famine, disease, pestilence, all the biblical plagues are happening. Um, it, I, I, I just don't, it's the emperor has no clothes type market. Then everyone's just too scared to be like, it's shit. <laughs> so I don't know, Jethro. I don't know. 